Morning, everybody. So this week uh, we have uh, a piece for the instrumentalists to have a play along with. And you can have a sing along with it as well. It's a very simple song, uh, This Little Light of Mine. Nigel has prepared some uh, music for the trumpet players and the B-flat instrument players as well. If you've got a clarinet and you want to play along, then go and watch Nigel's tutorial. Nigel has three different parts for the B-flat instruments to play, the trumpets to play. And I've prepared music for the rest of us to play along with. So I've written out the the same tune that Nigel's teaching, but it's in our key, okay? For the trumpets, they're playing it in G. We're gonna be playing it in F. So if you're playing a flute or you're playing a violin or a cello or a piano keyboard, then you can play along with me. If you're playing a trumpet or a clarinet, you play along with Nigel. We're gonna have a go at the melody first. Right, tuning. It's been a long, long time since you've taken your instrument into school and your tutor has had a go at tuning it for you. Been sat at home for a while or siblings perhaps have been messing about with um, pegs that they maybe maybe shouldn't have. Boom. Then your instrument will be out of tune and it, you won't get the satisfaction from playing the song. Have a go at tuning your instrument, but be really careful. Get your adult to help you, especially if you're tuning a violin or a cello. Plenty of tutorials on YouTube um, of how to safely tune your instrument. For a guitar, um, your guitars, if you play a school guitar, it shouldn't be far out of tune unless you've been really with the pegs. But um, the notes are these, okay? We're gonna go for E, E for elephant. A for aardvark. D for a dog. G for j uh, gerbil. B for a baboon. E again for an eagle. Here is the melody. I'm going to play it along on the computer so that it's in time. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This Okay, so that's the melody part, and it is swung. It's quite. It's, it's got a bouncy feel to it. So, um, we'll have a look at those first two bars. Remember as well, uh, good technique. I'm sure guitar players with Chris, Chris would say the same thing. Um, make sure your thumbs nice and flat on the back. You won't have as much control if you have it like this. Um, make sure that your hands like a claw rather than carrying a tray of sausages. You want it like a claw, so a flat thumb at the back, fingers pointing down towards your face. And we're going to be doing a lot of uh, one and three, first finger, third finger, uh, index finger, and uh, your annular finger. So it might be a nice little warm up to start on the C on the first fret of the B string, and then just go one, three, up to D, F to G, and then back down that little pattern, just as a warm up, okay? Because we're going to be doing a lot of that. Those are the notes we're going to be using as well. So let's just try doing that nice and slow. Okay. Now pause the video there and have a practice at that and see if you can start really, really slowly. Keep it nice and even. If you've got a metronome or a click, um, then use that to keep you nice and steady. And pause the video there and just have a go at that. Turn the metronome up 
in very, very small increments um, so you can build up a little bit of speed. And that's just your warm up, okay? So have a go at that now. Right. Um, <clears throat> so that's the melody part. We're going to have a look at the second part. This is the part I was thinking might be okay for the cellos to have a go at. You'll notice the bass clef is there and then we've got the tab and the treble clef for the guitars. So we're going to start on C of the fifth string, okay, of the A string. So here it is and we'll have a play along with that now. Watch really carefully, nice and slowly. Open string. First finger. And then open strings. Nice. Two beats. Shift your finger up. Second finger. Okay. Now that's a lovely part, but um, it's it travels. There are not many rests in it. So I would just take pause, keep pausing the video, try that slowly, a bar at a time. Um, when you get to the, if you're playing the guitar for this one, when you get to bar 9, 10, 11, uh, we'll, sit, we'll go from bar 10 actually. So you've got third finger. You could go up to your little finger and go four and two. Or you could slide up with your third finger and use your index finger for that um, that E natural, that second fret there. Okay, so just try bar 10, 11 and 12 maybe. And then you've got time to shift your fingers around, but keep like I say, the most important thing is just to keep your thumb nice and flat on the back and have lots of, have a claw shape so you've got lots of mo movement, mobility in your hands and have a go at that. That's maybe a little extension because, like I say, the, there's not there's not many rests in that second part. So maybe try the melody first and then have a go at the second part. Right, the chords. If you're going to have a go at a chord, and a chord is a group of notes played together. Okay, so when you see on the music, uh, F, and B flat, and C, they're not the individual notes, they're the group of notes. So that's the F chord, the B flat chord, the D minor chord, etc. So when we're playing chords, we're playing more than one string on the guitar. So the first chord is F. Now these are tricky chords. It's a difficult key for us to play, but it's that's good, it's a challenge. Um, so we're going to have a go at playing the F chord first. The F chord, chant, soon like so. Um, there are two different ways we can play it. We could play it with a flat index finger over these two strings and then reach around with our second finger. So we'll try doing that, have a look on this side first. So flat finger, again, flat thumb, claw. If you try and do this, with your wrist bent backwards and with your thumb like this, it'll be incredibly difficult. So keep that claw shape, index finger nice and flat, and then reach over with your second finger and then play all three strings. I'm going to pluck them with my thumb and fingers like this. And nice and evenly together, like that. Um, that's, that's one way we could play it and that is the way we're going to play it. Um, good practice though is to play the three separate strings with three different fingers. So one on the C, two on the F, and then reach over with your third finger on the A, like that. So that's the other way to play it. But we're going to play it like this, just for ease. Okay, the next chord 
B flat. Okay, so two and three on the B flat, third finger on the D, and then really tuck that index finger in for the F there, and then that all those three together make your B flat chord. In the song, it's actually a G minor seven, but that doesn't really matter. It's a B flat for us. So now we're going to try going between the F and the B flat, and that's why we're using the flat finger over there for the F. Here's the F. Then we're going to slide up, slide up with your second finger, pop your third finger down, and then tuck that first finger behind for B flat, and then go back down. Okay. Pause the video, have a go at those two chords, one after the other. Try going nice and evenly, change, and back down, two, three, four, and then go back to the first bar again. I'll leave that up on the screen so you can see it. Okay. Um, at the end of the first line, you can see in the end of the fourth bar, there's an optional chord. F7, like this. Okay, F7. I'll draw it up on here for you. The tab is up on the screen, so you can see that as well. But just for ease, this is F7. Only have a go at this if you are confident with the others. There it is. Like that. Again, claw, thumb, like that. So the first line should sound like this. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And then F7. And then we're on to the second line. Second line is B, lots of B flat. That's good, because we've just done B flat. This little light of mine. Then we change. We change to C. C is nice and simple. One finger index finger on the first fret of the set of the B string the second string so like this those two open strings let's have a go at that there's your C string so that whole second line this little line of mine C then we we'll go back to F I'm gonna let it shine and there's your second line. Third line, we've got F, then B flat, then an F, and a rest. Then we've got an A7. A7. A7, we're going to use the first four strings. Okay, these are kind of scaled down chords. You, these chords obviously do exist with other uh, strings, but we're just going to kind of simplify them for now. So, we're going to leave these two strings open. We're going to use our second finger and our th third finger. A7, okay? Have a go at A7, like this. So we've got our second finger on E, on the D string, then an open G string, then our third finger on the B string on the second fret, which is a C sharp, and then an open top E string like that. So it should sound like that. Pause the video, have a little practice of that chord. So we've got F, B flat, F, this is the third line. Then we go to our new A7. Okay, try that. F, B flat. Then we go to A7, and we'll strum that twice, A7, A7, now this is bar 12, and we've got a new chord, D minor. There it is, we'll draw that for you. Index finger, whoops, index finger on the F, first string, reach over with your second finger on the G string, on um, it, it's an A, and then your third finger in between. Oop. third finger in between on the D. Let's have a look at that. 
Okay, just play those three strings. You can, that, there's an open D as well. You can play the fourth string if you want, actually. Okay, so we've got D minor, and then we're back to B flat. And then the, the last line is chords we've already covered. So we're back to F, 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 B flat, C, F, and F, and F. Okay, and that's the whole thing. You will need to pause, you will need to slow it down, but have a good go, okay? And it's fine if you feel like you can't get it, your fingers aren't going in the right place, that is completely normal. And um, after a little while, just have a rest, do a bit of this, do a bit of scrunching your hand up. Um, it will help you to try and get gaps between your fingers. Try not to have your fingers bunched together like this, okay? Try and get some gaps in between your fingers, and that's where the, the claw comes in really open up your hand. Imagine you've got a ping pong ball in the middle of your hand and it stays there. You haven't got your, your wrist um, coming back like this. Okay, and now if you go over to the performance track where Nigel and I will be playing the song uh, nice and slowly so you can have a go. Just do your best, have a try, and I'll see you later. Bye.